Volgan, uh, you are thinking that you are now going to be 60, but that's not true. Because, you know, you are a highly educated Austrian man, which means uh, with all this alpha ages, prospective ages, actually, uh, if we look at some other countries, you are some, someone like 45. You are indeed one of the most extraordinary social scientists of the last third of the 20th century and the first third of the 21st century. That's your age as far as I'm concerned. Stay productive as you are, stay healthy as you are, and stay our friend forever. Happy birthday, Wolfgang! When internationally acclaimed scientist Wolfgang Lutz celebrates his 60th birthday, it only seems logical to do so with the one thing he enjoys the most. Over 100 researchers from throughout the world joined in a surprise conference looking at the major themes that Lutz has contributed to during his career. What could we give to Wolfgang as a present for his 60th birthday? And then we were discussing, I mean, what could you give a scientist? You can give him just science. And I had no idea what was coming and then all these famous demographers walking into the door and one surprise after the other and all coming because of me. And this is really moving. Wolfgang Lutz has made his mark in many ways, but founding the Wittgenstein Center is definitely amongst his most important achievements. And the idea was the idea of Wolfgang Lutz to bring together in one place people with different scholarly disciplines, different scientific approaches, different parts of the world, different questions in their own minds. The people basically at the VU at the VID and at YASA. And he thought, oh, we need to have a single center in Vienna. Where scholars from all over the world, uh, the best university, come to visit us and share with us results, findings, and we get in inspired by this. Some of the most important uh, problems in economics right now, such as economic development in, in developing economies and uh, aging societies actually are extremely related to demographic developments. So the need for interdisciplinary research that joins demography with economics appears particularly important nowadays. If you had asked a few decades ago whether Vienna would be the capital of one of the capitals of demography in the world, probably no one would have ever thought that would, would happen. But it wouldn't be a birthday if not only latest findings, but also personal anecdotes would be shared amongst the colleagues. And that is Wolfgang leaving his office to walk down the hall, and here comes one of his colleagues walking in the other direction. And Wolfgang says, what are you finding on that question about X? And she says, well, we're finding that Y and Z are related to each other. And he says, aha, related. That means really that you should be looking at this other issue, shouldn't you? And you could use these data. And then Wolfgang disappears on down the hall to wherever he was going. And the staff member is left there thinking, what am I going to do with that? But those kinds of interactions invariably lead to new science and new results. But they can happen any hour of the day, any hallway where Wolfgang walks out of an office and one of us is coming walking in the other direction. May there be many more hallways to come.